in a world where apparently the uh, Artie is able to sleep at my house for the weekend, living next to a bad ice cream parlor, my little sister suddenly becoming a clone of uh, one of his classmates, and and me apparently being an actual dog. We what we play Seblems. Yep, pretty much what he said. Hey guys, Colorful Artie's back for more Seblems, and today I've brought another co-commentator. Please introduce yourself. Greetings, everyone. It's me, Gigalim. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go through a rapture today. <laughs> Are you ready to become the last person on Earth? I hope so. Or, rather, last living on Earth. So, we're starting with Shoot, shoot from the Hip. Shoot from the Hip, indeed. Aw, oh, infinite time. Come on, I wanted a time limit. <laughs> oh, that's okay. But, uh, but... What? What, what the heck is oh, this? we're off to a great start. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we captured that on That's... video for Napster, so... <laughs> 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 wow, this... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. It's been a while since I've seen a brick level in Seblems, so this should be interesting. Yep. One at a time, one at a time. We all get our bricks. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, he marked that with a skill. <laughs> you wonder why you pick up the stupid stuff right there. Alright, I need to- I, 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 but I usually place, like, uh, multiple skills in a level. Mm. Like, uh, or rather pre- pre-assigned skills, I usually make sure it's, uh, like, if it's two skills or, like, five, five, I have to place them all around. Mm-hmm. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to want to do a builder right there to start. So the gliders could just go up here and glide down to the exit. The real question is going to be how do we get the lemmings up this? Hmm. Yeah. Alright. I, I will start the level as I start every level, by trying stuff. Okay, I believe the uh, I believe the uh, what's it the uh, the red blocks. I uh, mean, not uh, of course. Like I was thinking, you would need these two diggers, but I'm guessing you only need like one digger and a bomb. The problem is like you already used bomb over there, so probably right. a digger and like. I've got some ideas. A lot of builders in this level. Let's zoom out. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking we dig through this uh, thing of red blocks and then mine. And that'll let them all go through. Oh, we've already killed everybody we can. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a big problem. Oh, I see that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this, this lower hatch is gonna be the problem. Let's make a bridge wall, I guess. I guess I can see why, why you had an extra me, but or rather, like, uh, get or before me. I mean, I can see why, uh, the, why, uh, they made the sides deadly. Just don't like the fact that it's been, the ceiling has, has become deadly. I know. I, I mean, I, I get that it makes it consistent, but... It's kind of weird that it's just out of nowhere. It's like, oh yeah, now the ceiling's deadly. It's just like it, make, it like it makes no sense logically. Like I, I shouldn't be questioning the logic of it can be, but still. I I I get it. That means that that means I'm gonna have to fix some some of the levels that require a loading to hit, hit the top of the screen in uh, in Nilas. Yeah, if it's just if it's just one level, it's not too bad. But if you made a lot of levels, especially if you forget about those levels, it's really annoying. It, 
Yeah, and that's how I'm gonna, that's why after I finish, finish uh, all of Waffle's unfinished levels, I'm gonna send them all to all the Nessie. Oh, uh, okay. So, so he can port the levels. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Hmm. Once that process is done, I can safely uh, enter new new format and continue my project that way. Right. All right. This hatch at the bottom is going to be annoying. Actually, all these hatches are going to be annoying. <laughs> I guess we'll have to hatch a new plan. Oh ho ho! Puns. Mm. So they begin. <laughs> Alright. I feel like what I was doing was right at the beginning. We've basically got an unlimited amount of builders, so... That's nice. Like, there are a few things I want to do before we ship these in the new format. I want to finish, like, uh, finish the Lemmings Plus 2 redesign sets. Oh yeah, those are nice. Yeah, because I know Flossy really distastes the uh, purple set, so, because... I can see why, because it, like, uh, it's kind of an eyesore. Not as bad as, uh, the Psychedelic set originally. <laughs> The yeah, well, that originally was awful. the seizure tile set. It, it's uh, it's electric soldier board on the tile set. <laughs> well, all right then. That's the scientific name. Yeah, two more sins for having me reference a banned Pokemon episode. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, actually, no. This this will work. Gallop, maybe. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Lash. But, uh, but, like, uh, I originally wanted to, like, have, like, for making of that set, I originally wanted my friend to give me a guide, but he decided, he decided like, to go all the way, and he made the set look so pretty. Like, like, uh, like, like, the psychedelic set just becomes a neon party. Yeah. And it just becomes such a fun set to use. Okay, I, d I did not expect the lions to climb up here and then fall down this way. That was interesting. Oh no, are you serious? <laughs> I believe that's what... Oh, bobber. Uh, Winnie, is that you? Yes, it's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I'm, I'm having trouble with a lemmings level. <laughs> but this isn't a honeycomb level. <laughs> I want to make a honeycomb level called O Bobber, but hasn't happened yet. Yeah. I am using your uh, redesigned tree graphic set though for like a couple levels. For art limbs. Yeah. I decided to go with birch because like. Uh, Let's be honest, how many times have we seen, like, uh, have we seen, uh, normal brown wood? I mean, I like normal brown wood, but yeah, birch wood was a cool touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I just, looks like, before I design the purple set, I need to find an idea of how I want to, uh, make, like, I want to make it look, uh, like an alien planet. And I need a good idea of like how, how like, uh, how I can make the alien planet texture. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I can think of something for like, uh, for like, uh, like hard edge pieces. Like, like uh, just like uh, alien infrastructure or something like that. Right. But, uh, but for rocks, I need to think of something. That uh, works for that, so it doesn't look like, so it doesn't look like, uh... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Recolored re dirt. <laughs> What's wrong with recolored dirt? <laughs> hmm. That's not, and that's not the only set I, I plan to do. I had, I have to, like, for some of the rough edge pieces in the, um, the, 
the Mac uh, in the like uh, Master System sets, I'm gonna have to base them off the Amiga sets and so I'm gonna create recreate them from those clusters. Oh, interesting. And what's worse is that I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need someone to provide sprites with for the traps. And I only have rips of the uh, of the graphic sets because I because uh, because apparently the uh, no one knows about the uh, about the master system level editor, Mappy. It's called. Yeah, I didn't know. But I honestly like. Is there a difference between the regular tile sets and like the master system ones? It's a big cosmetic difference. Like uh, the sets are like. Did the system's limitation, limitations, they have to be, like, they have to be, like, designed in a new way. Okay. So you can, so can not only match the source material, but, uh, All right. but to make it look appealing. I just feel like, I, I just wish, like, uh, I just feel like an idiot for, like, uh, not having a flash drive back when I had an old XP computer. Because I couldn't back those up and re-upload them. It was back from all the way from from L plus plus. Right. I've debated making like a Zelda two palace tile set. I was wondering. I'm just wondering. Like, I don't think people would use it all that much. And speaking of other ports of tile sets. Another thing I'm tempted to make for a tile set because because the uh, because all the maps exist for it is uh, would be the uh, what's it, the the NES graphics sets. How about just the Lemony versions of the tile sets that are high resolution? I said NES like uh, the original Nintendo. Yeah, I know. But okay. I, I would like somebody to make the Amiga graphic sets. The Amiga? Yeah, because all the Neo MX ones are the DOS ones, which are great, but they're also low resolution. And uh, the, I thought the Amiga and DOS versions are the same. I think the Amiga has the like, Lemini style graphics, which are like the higher I resolution. Think the Amiga, I think the Amiga was trying to do that. He made like shiny versions, which weren't the same. As like they're not as high quality, but uh, but they're close enough. But uh, unfortunately, he never finished them. Right. Like uh, since uh, since he's probably never gonna finish them, I figured maybe I could uh, maybe I could try doing the redesigns of the uh, of the Lemmy's Plus Two and Three sets because they really need them. Mm -hmm. That and uh, I also want to redesign the uh, the recreations of the Lemmings uh, PS3 sets, especially the uh, dark set, so it doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like the the fire set just arranged differently. Right. Because uh, because because uh, like my only reference material is going to be just looking at screenshots. I know the steel pieces would be easy to uh, imitate, but it's going to be everything else because, like, for example, I'm going to create picture frames mm -hmm. and whatnot. And I'm going to need to redesign the trap so it doesn't look like a lemming has turned, uh, has turned to the dark side. <laughs> a dark side trap would be cool. Come on. <laughs> It's just, a, it's just, it's just a lightsaber. <laughs> no, the, the lemming gets force choked. <laughs> All right, so I need more builders to build that. So that, or you're gonna need to stretch your bridges. No, even if I stretch the bridges, that wouldn't be far enough. So uh, have you calculated it? No, but I'll do that right now. Alright. So non-stretched, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. 
We would need to stretch him for those to even uh, make it over there. So you're going to test that stretch theory. So we need like six builders over there. And then we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got one builder to... Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10. Yeah. So I can't I can't use the builder going down there. I think my hardest redesign is probably gonna have to be the uh excuse me, the the, the uh, desert set because I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to do shading and I'm gonna need to learn how to do like uh, shading to make the uh the look better. Okay. I know, I know it's pop. I know I can really, I know like uh, the fun part's gonna be like the uh, redesigning the trees and the cactuses. And of course, just, I already have an idea of what to do with the exit. <coughs> Same well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the redesigned desert set as well. I think I'm especially gonna have, <coughs> especially gonna have a lot of fun with the uh, Lemmings plus E redesigns, mm. because uh, because I'm gonna add some, uh, I'm gonna add some uh, straight edge edge pieces to the sky set, maybe like just like uh, cloud bricks. Trying to figure out a way to hold these guys back while they build over there. Hmm. You can also see why Waltham doesn't really like this set much. Like oh this. my gosh, I'm a moron. <laughs> what, what, what did you just realize? The, the lemmings can't even climb up there. <laughs> They're just going up here, up to the top. All right. I noticed that. I noticed that from the beginning. Uh, all right. Well, well done. <laughs> all right. Well, this will simplify things? Question mark. If only there was a way he wouldn't turn around when he built. Well, that'll certainly save a lot of builders. What should do the way it is? I wish I knew how to like uh, spray in different styles because, I, like, if I could, I'd try to do oh no more lemon sets in the master system style. Ooh yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, I'm only just like a, a novice spreader. I'm not. I'm not the best spreader yet. Like, dude, I still have a long way to go. Mhm. Mm yeah, spriting is something I'm trying to work on as well, but it's easier well, said than like, done. Uh, like for your, for your like. Uh, for my yeah, my lemmings like game project. I honestly want to see someone try to uh, make like a lemmings, lemmings like engine for, uh, for game maker. Like I, like I would like to see someone make uh, make an interpretation of what would be a lemmings for. Like, what new gimmicks you can bring to the table, and, uh, mm -hmm. and such. Yeah, I guess I'm behind on the times, because I never played Lemmings 2 or Lemmings 3. Uh-oh. There's a problem. What? What's the problem? Actually, no. It's not a problem at all. He can come along for the ride. And talk about these lemmings over here. We can have them both build across because we've got way more diggers or way more builders to use now. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, I, I like, I would. Like, speaking of like things, I would, I would like to see someone do in the future Neo Lemmings versions of the Lemmings Two engine and Lemmings Two engine. Ooh, yeah. Especially the Lemmings 2 engine, with all the new skills. Mm -hmm. Minus so, the fan. 
minus the fan. Let's be honest, like, most he, people... Like, it, like, for, like, for skills like the twister, you just, like, instead of the fan, you just point the lemming in and point the direction the lemming will go there. Sure. No. What? Did you lose more than 39? Yeah. Mr. Dude's there splatted. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that uh, multitasking. Multitasking is a blessing and a curse. It's a curse because uh, because there'd be those occasions where you miss the lemming. Right. The only problem now is uh, trying to make is uh, preventing the uh, preventing the uh, yeah these guys from turning around. Like uh, the climbers from going in infinite loop because. Uh, yep. <laughs> Yes, that's gonna be like the one trick you'll have to learn in stuff like Lemming's Reunion. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, and another problem. That huge bowl. Like, ho ho! Yeah, you're gonna need to prevent your climbers from going up there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Who's splatting? Oh yeah. Oh, you know, that's. One thing to, I know one thing's uh, that one thing's for sure when I when I move to the uh, new format for Mila's. Mm -hmm. I can add uh, I can add Mila voice clips to uh, it, to the pack. Ooh. Integrate it more and... with the Freedom Planet style. Yeah. So rather than just saving, uh, save, saving lemmings with, uh, with a Mila attire, it makes it feel like you're actually save, saving puppies instead. And everybody wants to save puppies. Yeah, you're adorable and you have two parts. <laughs> On Simon's stream today, we were having a heated discussion over whether cats or dogs are better. Oh, so the first Splatfest in Splatoon. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I used to I used to dread dogs because every single dog that like uh, that that was out on the lawn whenever I come home just uh, always scared the daylights out of me. Yep. You can thank Freedom Planet for uh, for getting rid of that phobia for me. Now here's the thing, we could build over the exit that way, then build that way, and they'd stop splatting, it's just but, uh, holding these guys back. Hmm. Also, this guy will fall off the cliff and die. If my family weren't, like, uh, if my family, you know, if my family weren't dead, like, the pet limit for this house, I would have adopted it. Especially as a puppy, because they're so. Oh yeah. Well, I saved two lemmings. Is that good enough, Flopsy? <laughs> Is that good enough? Did I do well? Did I do good? <laughs> I'm guessing you're going to need the six builders across that pit because. Yeah. If you build across that uh, gap, then, uh, well, I think your lungs are going to be at spot line. Yeah. I have to draw you for Indeed. Yeah. And I still want, I still want to try to, uh, try to make, like, a VGA spec level like, in a similar fashion of, uh, look at the draw. The thing is, I'm going to fiddle around with paint.net, and that's not going to be fun. Paint.net, oh yeah. Like, I would have called the level, this is a sketchy level. 
Oh, that would be great. Didn't Namita kind of make something like that for Lemmings Plus 4? Uh, I just uh, talked about that one. It was called The Luck of the Draw. And I oh, that's what it was called. Oh. Yeah, I remember I remember one of the contests. That was one of the prizes. Like, uh, the physical version of that level. Was that a contest level before he sketchified it? No. No? It was, it was just, uh... It was just... It was just, uh... Like... I don't know, but it's just, uh... I know... I know, like, uh... I know he gave that out as a prize and whatnot. Oh, that's right. I liked that contest where we made the VGA spec levels. That was fun. Yeah, honestly, it's just like, I wouldn't want it, like, there are points where I wanted to use the contest as, like, an idea for, you know, the only problem is I'm gonna be able to release that level because of the contest rules. Right. And uh, it would be in a intermediate time frame. Mm hmm. <laughs> Alright, new plan. We're just gonna build into the wall and then mine through it. <laughs> None of this bridge wall nonsense. Yeah, you're just gonna need climbers to delay the inevitable. Oh yeah, <laughs> I am excited, uh, like, uh, I did see the gameplay update for Dream Plant 2, and, like, uh, no, honestly, like, I feel like, uh, they announced the game way too early, because, like, uh, like, 2015 was a bit, like, too early, it had nothing to show for it, I think it should, like, I think it would have been wise to wait until you had something to show before announcing the game. Okay. But, uh, but if there's anything I could, uh, anything positive I could say, I like the way the new levels look, and I wish I could make, uh, I wish I could make the graphics sets for them already. <laughs> because, so uh, because I already have one graphics set made for Freedom Planet 2, and that's the Dragon Valley tile set. Oh, that's my favorite. No! What, what did the lemming fall the, by the, the lemming fell by one pixel. Ugh. This is not good. If I mine through that... Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, Flopsy yeah. said this one was going to be easier than the others. I have not really found that to be the case. I, I still remember just... I still remember feeling like a big idiot for not realizing the solution to one of the Lemmings plus five levels, the one called What, what Could It Be? What it's Could just, It Be? I did not... Yeah, because I did not think of using the, the clone that way. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I feel like, like, I, I legitimately felt like an idiot, idiot when, that, when I found out that solution. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> you shouldn't feel like an idiot for not solving a level quickly. You wanna know one idea I had for, uh, for a pack? An idea you had for a it, pack? It was a, it's a similar idea to Art Lems, except it's more about the evolution of, uh, custom levels and whatnot. Oh, and interesting. Where it starts off with, where it's, like, you have, like, uh, one rank with vanilla skills, one rank with neolemic skills, and you have, like, and there's, like, six ranks, six ranks, uh, strength for that, and... The seventh rank is like a no holds bar. 
That does sound like where, an interesting like, idea. Where it's like, it starts off with vanilla, where you have your, uh, uh, just the eight skills in the original sets, maybe the other ports are available too. And then you have, and then you have, uh, one where it's like, based on Lemmings 2, and you have Neil on the sets available. Mm. And it, it has, and it goes in that pattern, so you have one, so you have like, uh, you have, uh, like the first two ranks are, uh, easy, easy for, uh, for both sets. Mm. Oh. And then you have, uh, and then you have two for, like, you have one for Ch Chibo and one for, one that's supposed to represent, one that's supposed to represent the Chibo age and one that's representing the L++ age because they had extra skills. So, okay. So, like, uh, in place of that, they will have, uh, like, it would have like graphic sets, and mm -hmm. then you have the Age of Lemony, and then you have the Age of uh, Neo Lemmings, which are the hard mode. So the entire, uh, the entire pack, and then you have uh, have where the timeline collapses, where where the hardest puzzle puzzles are bound, and well, well, everything goes crazy. That would be a very uh, unique pack, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I am stumped on this level. I'm trying to just figure out a way to turn the gliders and climbers around. But, but there's it... no trees anywhere in this level. You can't be stumped without trees. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a good one. <laughs> you can't have the high ground if there is no ground. I thought this level was going to be really straightforward, but that is not the case. I'm pretty sure we do need to climb Bomb to get for that. That just seems like it's perfect. I'm almost wondering if we could do our, my original idea, build across there and nobody goes up. Hmm. Well, but, uh, they'll have to go up. Like, uh, you would have to, like, build across there while the lemmings, uh, climb across that, uh, right. while lemmings, uh, walk across that so you can just catch the lemmings. If we... Well, digging will probably not work entirely, but I feel like there's something there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you have any ideas on how to solve the level, feel free to chime in. Well, I'm just trying that, like, uh, just, because right now, like, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to draw any blanks. Not to draw any what? Blanks. I know that feeling of not having any food, and it's like the worst feeling, especially when you want to like, uh, like for example, if you have no clue what you, uh, what do you like, do? Mm -hmm. It's the worst when it comes to designing levels because you want to like, like you have to, like you want to continue making something, but you have literally no idea how to do it. Yeah. That's the worst. <laughs> oh yeah, I've I get those like all the time for art rooms. <laughs> That's why development's been slow as molasses. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
builder shortage. One thing I was glad to get after. One thing I was glad to get, even though, even though I got it like uh, at the turn of the new year, I was glad to get the Pokeball to the SXL. So nice. And it's just like, yay, I finally have use of my shoulder buttons. <laughs> because my shoulder buttons were for my original 3DS, they. Like, it started out with the R button not working, and then eventually both buttons didn't want to work. Hold oh, on. I had that problem with my DS Lite. The R button broke. Which made Mario Kart multiplayer a very difficult thing to do. Yes, because you can drift. Yep. Doggone it. I do not. This is where I don't like gliders when you can't really tell where they're gonna go in their trajectory. I'm sorry about that. Family matters. Oh, no problem. <laughs> like, one thing I especially like about the new 2DS XL is that there's like a little protective piece. Like, like the little thing they did with the SD card, they did with both the micro SD and the game card. So, uh, you can, like, you can put in your game safely, and no matter, and like, no matter which way you hold the 3DS, you don't have to worry about uh, accidentally pushing out the cart. Like, ah, it, can yes. be good for, it can be good for games like Rhythm Heaven, <clears throat> because uh, you'd be holding DS sideways, and your hand be like, a, like a hovering the game cart. And there could be like the chance where you're like playing and then suddenly the game stops because you accidentally pushed out the cart. Well, on the N64, that produced funny uh, results tilting the cartridge. Not so much yes, for the 3DS. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does damage games, however. If you're details, not details. designs for the DDS, like, they're actually, like, uh, adding, like, some, like, uh, like, for the Pokeball DDS, you can actually press this, uh, button. It doesn't really do much, it's just a cute little thing you can do. I know the Pikachu, uh, Pikachu one is gonna be, like, uh, released later, and, uh, like, uh, like, they actually extruded, like, like, they had, like, uh, uh, like, Pikachu's no nose actually, like, uh, like peek poke out, so so it's like so it's uh, that's so, cute. Uh, yeah, I know there's like a I know I there's a way to describe it. I just don't know what. <laughs> I just want to know what other ideas they would have with uh, special uh, two DSs. You want to know what was bad timing last year? What? There was. In February, the month of my birthday, they re they released a Pikachu new 3DS. Guess what I was saving up for instead? What? A Switch. <laughs> I couldn't- I wouldn't wanted to get that thing, but there was a Nintendo Switch in the horizon, so I couldn't get that thing. Yep. Such is the pr price you pay. Dang it, I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to turn on my freaking 2DS. Freaking button. Alright. 
right, so we use one there, three there, another three there, that would give me nine left, three there, that gives me six left. Oh, you don't like it zoomed out like this? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh wait, I'm not playing. <laughs> Normally I like it zoomed in as well, but for levels like this where it's relatively large and you've got a large number of hatches, I like zooming out so I can keep track of all of the hatches at once. I had to shorten the level sauna a lot, so, uh, so it isn't so, like, taxing to multitask past. Like, I included the old version in the beta rank, which is a rank for levels that didn't make the final cut. Yeah. The, so it includes older versions of levels. Like, uh, I know not all old versions of levels would make it. Like, uh, the level nearly death experience, uh, all I like did was just shorten the length of the level, but the solution is still the exact same, so there's no reason to include the, uh, old version. Mm -hmm. Well, levels like Sana, I had to not only like shorten the level, but change the solution so I could justify a, a reason to include the old version in the, uh, the beta rank. Right. I still remember one of Bothlin's levels for, for the Academy uh, style set, and it's just like, yeah, no, this is going to the beta rank immediately. No! <laughs> Because I'm like, like, I know, I know, this is, he goes on, place this level, he's gonna be like, nope, done. <laughs> like, I even included it on one of the preview messages that it says, he goes on, like, kill me if I made him to, like, this level. <laughs> it's just like, he goes on, does not like levels that look like secret night weapons. Yeah, he really like, doesn't. <laughs> Like, I could probably think of a, like, I want to make, like, a level that looks like that, but just, like, it's more justifiable because, because like, uh, it's about, uh, like, you need to get there because all you need to do is just get the exit to open and you just need to find, like, you just need to figure out the uh, maze, maze of which skill to use first and what, like, what lemming to click on first, so that they can lead the lemming to safety. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saved a digger somehow. That's nice. So this looks pretty good. If only I could save a builder somewhere. Oh, I can! Yeah. Let's hope this isn't the only level we're doing today. Oh no. I've got a lot of time, so... Yeah. Unless this level takes me like five hours like Supersonic did. We should be good. One thing... One thing I am to do. One thing I should probably do is just uh, open up Heat.net, take a uh, take both city backgrounds and just blur them and dim them. Because one of the city backgrounds does not look pleasing to the eyes when you just put it alone. No, it really doesn't. I'm not a huge fan of the city tile set, mainly because a lot of the stuff I'm like, is that terrain or is are, are those objects? I can tell what's terrain, but uh, that's kind of a fault with uh, Jamie's graphics set. Like, I get, I get that he's ambitious with certain certain gimmicks, and I can appreciate that. But 
uh, you need to think of uh, what works and what doesn't. True. Oh shoot, he's uh, doggone it. We do need that digger there. Was that you opening a soda, or starting to say a naughty word? That was me opening a soda. Okay. I hate it when, like, uh, when I want to get, like, that, I get, like, like, I look for, for a 1.25 liter, and <gasps> all the ones I want are out, so I had to buy a 2 liter. And I know there's more in a 2 liter, but... Oh, you're gonna love this! <laughs> Well, that actually is still not going to work because we need all of those guys going up here. So we need to turn them around earlier. But we still need the one guy to fall down there and build the bridge. No, we don't. No, we do not need him to do that. Gliders, though, aren't I? Yeah, but that leads you to like another problem. That that's of sand water. I want to say the reason why that's uh, sand water is because of system limitations. And it's worth time. We may have the builders to spare, though. I hope. Doggone it! No. That's right, now they just go into that pool of quicksand. Or cement, whatever it is. I think it'd be a bit more gray if it was cement. Hmm. Because I can't think of, uh, I can't think of one time where I saw cement that wasn't gray. Sure. Or that's probably tr a good point. <laughs> I do know some of <laughs> I do know some, uh, some, the, like, uh, some of the better, like, uh, some of the best levels from Pima ones use this set. Oh yeah, I love the brick set. It's easy to make pretty levels with it. Mm -hmm. well, I get why Laughlin doesn't like this set, because it's used so much in Bungo Lemmings. That is true. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> Just like guys, uh, just like you get tired of seeing the same thing. That's why I like the crystal set from the original. Because it was criminally He's underused. He's so... Now I know. I guess Waltham knows how every Sonic fan feels whenever Izuka wants to use uh, Green Hill Zone again. <laughs> it's just like, please, can we just get a new zone? Just uh, see something other than Green Hill and Come on, where's my Marble Garden? Oh, I do not like Marble Garden that much. I do. I was more of a yeah, Hydro just... City guy. I know a few of my friends especially adore Hydro City, but uh, like, uh, I love Marble Garden because it's just like, I especially love its music. I adore listening to Marble Garden. It's, it's just. Song. Act one or two. Either or, just uh, only a few instruments are different. Uh... <laughs> 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 
Ugh, this is annoying. This is really annoying. <laughs> I would say Bricks of Wrath, but we're not playing Moby Limbs. <laughs> the Moby Limbs level that stumped me for so long, longer than I'm proud of, was Tricky Triangles. The one uh, level in the PlayStation port of Lemmings that uh, I was stuck on forever. I knew how to solve it, but it, it, but the problematic programming of the system is uh, what really got my nerves. What? Is is uh, triple trouble? <laughs> Who didn't hate that one? I didn't mind it if I'm playing on a different port. Like, but the problem is, you don't like the PlayStation version has a few problems. Like, it has a few glitches of its engine and whatnot. Yeah. Its biggest problem, the, its biggest problem I have with it is its cursor. Its cursor has momentum. It's slow, but as soon as you start dragging it, it will pick up speed. No cursor should have momentum. If it doesn't have momentum, it should be momentum given by you by moving your mouse. And, uh, that might sound weird when I, when I put it that way, but I can just say, take my word for it. I'm pretty sure Foxy can uh, back me up on the problems of PlayStation version since he played that version for his, for his channel. Right. <laughs> and, uh, like, there are problems where you just, like, you need to be super precise where I constantly hit pause a lot just to make sure I, I can, like, uh, I can get certain lemmings in and such so I can, uh, so, like, I can actually solve levels. And funnily enough, Mayhem was easier than Taxi. Man, it was easier than taxing in the PlayStation version. Like, were the levels the same? The levels were the same. But, hmm. uh, I had less of a problem solving Mayhem's levels than I did with, uh, <clears throat> than when I did taxing this level. In well... Fact, in fact, uh, that version was the first time I ever cleared the original Lemmings on an official report. Mm-hmm. I guess, for me, I feel like there were a couple taxing levels that were harder than a lot of the Mayhem levels. Like Triple Trouble, uh, there were a couple others. I hated Upside Down World. Upside Down World was a cute concept. I don't really hate that level as much as everyone else. The level I do absolutely despise, King of the Hill. King of the Castle? King of the Hill. Yeah, King of the Castle. You okay. have 20 builders. You can't use too much, but you can't use too many levies. You need to uh, make sure you use enough enough builders to save enough lemmings and make it to the top. It's, yep. it's like freaking monotonous. I actually really like that level. <laughs> it was a good challenge, because you it was a different kind of challenge where you had to portion out what you used and when. Like, like, uh, I can excuse the Builder Fest if there's, uh, if there's, like, uh, like, if it can be used, like, clever and creative. Like, for example, I love the level Take a Running Jump. I believe it's Take a Running Jump. It was, like, the level after King of the Castle. Yeah. Where it's just, like, where it's not really that hard, but sort of, but I always, like, have a blast every time it appears because it's just, I know what to do. Yep. It's just, I have fun with the like, because, like, I know I have enough builders to do this, so I have to know what, where to use them. And I'd rather you just, I uh, build across a gap, I build across another gap, I build across another gap, I build so many times to get across this big gap. Like, uh, I remember Flopsy's uh, builder, the builder's only level. I find it a I find it a very uh, nice level because because I because of uh, the usage of is of how you you 
You're supposed to use your first. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do eventually want to create a builders only level, but I want to make sure it's like it's as fun as the level of sugar honey ice tea. Oh yeah. Because like uh, if I'm only allowed to use one skill, I have to think of something to put. <laughs> and uh, I thought, you know what? You know what? Builders won't be fun to use, so I decided well, let's try it in miners instead. Instead, and I know, uh, and I know many, and I know like uh, minor levels can't be pretty fun. Oh yeah, Pio made a whole rank for them. Mm -hmm. The pickaxe rank. That was a fun rank. I know there's also the rank where all levels are one minute. That was so another fun just rank. Called... Yeah, one. That's it. That's all. That's the. That's it's... It's all it's called. Hmm. Just one minute. Oh no! Don't do this to me. Do not climb up that wall. And who's drowning? Yeah. Oh, really? I would love to see how you took that trip to drown. Oh, that's uh, how. You aside, you should have wait till like wait till signing it. This is quite the level. Oh yeah. Like, part of me wants to say uh, nominate this level for. Uh, Maybe I nice. will. Christ level it's hard. Oh, that's even worse. Oh. Do I have to build to the chain? Uh no. Uh you wouldn't have enough builders anyway. Probably not, but I might as well try. Like, I would have just dug down the entire pillow. <sighs> Dig down the entire pillar? Yeah, I'm nowhere near enough builders. In this. Who knows how long this is going to take crap? I could uh, save a builder by using the digger back here. But I don't think that would do any good. Yeah. Mm. Especially this dumb old chain at the end. That's ruining me. And I and chains are like my favorite terrain piece as well, so. Yeah. Bet you like that I included chains in the uh, in the metal redesign. Yes! That's also why I put the chains in the silhouette tile set. I have to remind myself uh, to make a level with the silhouette tile set called Bad Pickup Skill. And it, and it, plays, uh, and it plays the song Bad Apple. <laughs> Bad Pickup Skill? Is the gimmick you don't know which pickup skill you're getting? It's, no, it's more... Uh, it's more... It, it's a reference that it's just a reference to the music video for Bad Apple. Uh oh. Wow. Well, he wants there to be like a like a version of Silhouette Tile Set where it's just where instead of black pieces you have white pieces and completely white buttons. That would be much easier to make. Oh, definitely. 
Still splat height. Yes, still is and uh, and one got away. I dropped the after the like I was worried I might have damaged it. And it's like okay, good. The screens are fine because my problem with the only problem because this because this 2DS the like, was like cost so much that uh, only problem is we couldn't afford like a warranty with this thing. That's bad. Yeah, I know. So I have to. Yeah. I am flabbergasted as to how you can do this. <laughs> this ending. Either this might take a whole episode, or we might have to, like, uh, like, uh, skip the level for now. I really don't like skipping levels in a Let's Play, though. I if know I was... that feeling. Like, I know that feeling of just skipping things because you don't want it to go out of order. Mm-hmm. I, like, uh, th like, I can attest to that, like, for example, like, uh, like, in high school there'd be, like, this one map problem that I'm having trouble with. It's like, I really get told to go to another problem and get back to that problem later. The problem is that I can never, like, going out of the problem. Right. Well, especially for a Let's Play, I just feel like it's cheating the viewers, almost. So new plan, I'm gonna try the old plan of building a cross, because now I know we can filter everybody through this area. And we're gonna need every builder we've got, so. I don't appreciate the overly happy music. <laughs> well, considering you can't hear it, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's like. Uh... Oh, you, oh, you can't hear the music? No. Oh, I thought I, I was transferring. Hmm. I think it's for the. I think it's for the best because I think it might pick up my echo. Okay. Oh, it's doing like the do 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 Like really, really happy she'll be coming around the mountain music. Play button function. The the replay overwrite. Yes. Ever since I found that out, uh, it's made uh, it's made testing levels easier. Definitely. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna be run out of builders. As usual. It's just one of those levels where you feel like you're one skill short. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. uh considering how long this is taking, I can definitely say this is a hard for Giga level because it's <laughs> one of those levels where it feels like um, it feels like you're one skill short. Yep. 
Hard for Giga levels. Surely those are a thing. I mean, I know what could it be is a hard for Giga level because I always felt like everyone's still short. Alright. Experimentation time. in January start my blog and review thread, and uh, one of the first things I want to do is address my problems with the Blitz level editor, mm -hmm. because I'm going to be frank, I do not like the Blitz level editor at all. It's such a chore to use. There are some parts of it I really like, and some parts I don't like less. Like, I can manage with uh, the old format editor quite enough. Like, I've gotten so used to it that, uh, that, that, uh, that it's, like, not a problem to me. I actually... I, oh, sorry, go. And I do like the user interface for the, uh, for the new format editor. Like, it looks much easier to use because, like, uh, because, like, yeah, because some things are made more conveniently and I don't have to worry about about the lack of having panels. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not going to lie, I like I miss those uh, I miss those panels when when the, when doing the new when uh, doing the in the old format. I can see why Nami never removed them in the first place. They were, uh, they were buggy and a nightmare to work to uh, code code that was mm -hmm. to them. But, uh, my problem would be is that, uh, that I have to constantly move these, uh, windows so I can, so I can, uh, continue using these windows. Alright, I, I guess I kind of get that. I guess for me, I like, I like the old Neo Linux editor way more than the new one. Yeah, but with the but with the new format, like uh, I don't have to worry about the the windows uh, being out of place. Mm -hmm. So like whatever should be uh, should be like open is always gonna be open. And sadly, one of the things I wanted to suggest for the old editor is have is like you know how some paint programs have some windows like snap together so you can like have them all grouped. I wanted to suggest that, but uh, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm, <sighs> that could work. Except again, now I'm completely out of builders. Yeah. Jeez. You need that. You need that last one. I can save a builder there. I don't know how you could save a builder here. This is like this corrosion on steroids. It, uh, this I'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember what this corrosion was. I think it was a It was the Ono More Lemmings brick level where you had to like build on three different parts of different heights so that they could like filter down. Oh uh oh Oh. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you were talking about the uh, the 
other one where you, where you had only builders and uh, and uh, you had to and you had to like uh, safely uh, build downward to the exit. I know I said downward. I know you can't build downward, but just take my word for it. Okay. But it's just like I it just like I remember that I remember that level and I did not like that level period. I probably should just skip to the next level, but I'm, like, determined. I'm determined to not do that. Let me try at least one more fan. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we don't want it to be one level of uh, struggle. Yeah, they already got that with Gravity Coaster. How the heck did you sail over that? <sighs> oh, brother. Yeah, darn it, now you gave me an idea for a level when I make the, uh, the Zao, Zao Land tile set. Is that another Freedom Planet one? Yeah, it's for Freedom Planet 2. Because Zowland has uh, roller coaster pieces. Pieces. Pieces that I'll have to mm -hmm. rotate myself since the game is made of beauty and uh, there's an extension that allows uh, pieces to auto to, like auto rotate and terraform and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And because of that, now I'm tempted to uh, like. Uh, and I have to, or I have to, like, uh, make, uh, make, like, uh, different angles of the, of the, the pieces so I can have the, uh, rotating, uh, ro okay. rotating roller coaster pieces. But, now you gave me an idea, Gravity Coaster 2. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Or if so, please just don't make so many stackers and make the stuff obvious. Like, make it obvious that a certain thing won't work. Instead of being like, oh, it's one pixel off for everything. I know I, 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 know I have a habit of uh, being too precise. The problem is if I'm, like, I'm not precise enough, I open the level to uh, more back rooms than, than you can find. And then you can find in a, uh, you can find in a broken maze. I'd prefer backwards that are almost as good to a solution that is way too precise and not fun to execute. Yeah. Sometimes when people find, like, uh, sometimes when people find the solutions that they think are backwards, but they don't like their backwards, like, uh, it's like, like if it does, like if the if the solution doesn't completely break the level, I'll make it a talisman. Yeah. Like I like uh, there is a talisman in Vila's where uh, where if you solve the level without using uh, without using the permanent skills. All right. I mean, this isn't going to work anyways. Ow, for crying out loud. That's very annoying. Yeah. Gee, you will need to come back to this. Uh. Well, Flopsy, this is the best I can manage.
Da da. Oh, brother. All right. Yeah. I, I, I'll need to come back to that one, but so we're going to skip ahead.